Hello friends, I am Dr. Bridges and today we talk about the drug azithromycin. As you know, azithromycin is a uh, broad spectrum antibacterial drug, so it kills the bacteria. Azithromycin also used for the antimalarial drugs. And recently, azithromycin can be used for the coronavirus infected patients. Though the evidence of these drugs for treatment of the coronavirus infected patients is a small, but there is a hope that this will can have a big impact on the other patients too. Though we are still awaiting a proven large studies. We are not going into the depth of the coronavirus infections and azithromycin right now. But let me give you some of the uh, detail about the azithromycin drug in general. So azithromycin come in a strength of the 250 mg, 500 mg and 1 gram with the formula in the capsule, tablet, liquid and injection. If your doctor has prescribed you a capsule, you should take it 1 hour before and 2 hour after the meal. If your doctor has prescribed you a tablet or a liquid, you should take it with or without the meal. Injection is used only in the hospital settings. Azithromycin used specially for the ear infections, sinus infections, throat infections, skin infections and enteric fever. Azithromycin is also used for the sexually transmitted infections and some of the genital ulcers. So azithromycin is a very good drug though there are the some side effects. Side effects are non-dangerous and commonly are anorexic feeling, feeling nauseated, vomiting, uh, cramping abdominal pain and loose motions. The one who uh, have had an allergic reactions to previous azithromycin usage, they should not use the azithromycin. It is also not advisable to take azithromycin in the pregnancy, lactating mothers uh, and the one who already having an anaphylactic reactions. Because there is no such an evidence that the benefit uh, is more than the risk. So it is always imperative that you ask for your doctors whether this medication can be used for you or not, taking into consideration of the benefit and the risk. So azithromycin is a very wonderful drug. There is a one more special situation that should be taken care of. And that is, as azithromycin prolongs the QT interval in the electrocardiogram, so it can either fasten up your heartbeat or can make it irregular and that is very little. So someone who already uh, taking the medication that can cause the same effect. So if using azithromycin with these drugs can multiply the effect and that is very dangerous. Like the person who are already uh, having a disease uh, uh, of the heart failure either for the call they are using amiodarone, they are using the sotelol or they are using the colchicines or other antiarrhythmic drugs. The person who are uh, antidepressant uh, on and that is acetalopram, the person using antipsychotic drugs or the person using a domperidol or the person who use the moxifloxacin as an antibiotic because these all drugs synergizes the effect and cause and cardiac arrhythmia and that lead to death. So always and always ask your doctors, ask your doctors about whether you can take these medications or not along with your current medications. The elderly people are very prone to such a disease. So elderly people should also ask your doctors about their uh, uh, pronacity to cause such a fast and irregular heartbeat. What if you forget about taking the medications? So if you forget to take the, your drug, then you can uh, take it as soon as you remember. If uh, your time, your next dose is just soon, then you should avoid taking it and start using the next dose and then regularly. Taking the medication uh, inadvertently uh, in a large quantity doesn't cause much uh, serious effects. That just causes either a vomiting, abdominal pain, or the diarrhea, or the dizziness, or the vertigo. If you uh, take the medication more in a numbers, inadvertently, you should contact your doctors and ask about the help. Thank you.